I had another video. This one's one of those uh, videos where I bought some stuff off eBay, some uh, lenses and such. And I'm just going to uh, open them for you and uh, see what we got. See if we can uh, bought these to resell mostly. So see what we've got here. Uh, this first one, I've got three lots that I bought here. This one costs thirty-five dollars. Uh, uh, show you all what came in it, and uh, we'll see what we got here. Off the bat, in the box, a Vivitar seventy to two ten. Sometimes I've bought something in the box before, and it actually had fungus in it. So we're going to open it and see what it is. I don't know what mount this is. Uh, it's an MD mount, so this is Minolta, and it does look clear. If I hold it up to the light, there's, yeah, it's clear, and I'll make sure the aperture ring works. So here on the side, I'll turn it up to f22, and just, it should be snappy like that. So this is a solid lens. Um, not worth an awful lot, but uh, there's a couple lenses in here. I've got, what did I say, $35, this was shipped after shipping and everything. So, let's see what else is in here. There's three or four lenses in here. So what I'll probably do on that, that one is uh, buy an adapter for a mirrorless and, and use it with that. What do we got here? It's a Focal. Focal um, brand is a uh, Kmart brand, basically. <laughs> You might find out focal and it will say focal and on the lens cap. It will say Kmart. So. All right, what we got here? A 35 to 105 with a, uh, with a Hoya filter on there. Hold it up. Look through it to the light. Looks clear. Aperture's working. Nice little lens. Sure, the focus or the zoom works all the way, and the focus works all the way. Good solid lens, uh, even though this is a Kmart brand. Just uh, that's kind of a desirable focal length, 35 to 105, and it's f 3.5 throughout the focal range, and the zoom is contained inside the body. So this is a nice lens, and the mount on this is MD uh, Minolta as well. So uh, by itself, it would probably sell for around 25 dollars. I'll put an adapter on it and I'll sell it for uh, probably around 50 bucks. So, all right. So I'm I'm doing pretty well here. I have 35 dollars out of this, and this is the last one. No, there's two more. We got here. This is actually a really, really nice lens. This is a, a Vivitar. Well. That's good though. Um, M42 screw mount. That's what it screws on instead of a bayonet mount. It's got some dust on the front of it. Let me wipe that off real quick and hold it up. And that thing is clear. I really like this lens. I've had several of these. Uh, F22. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Snappy. Awesome lens. Looks like almost new. It looks like it's never been used. That's great. So this one uh, probably would sell for about $25 plus shipping. But I will put a uh, Canon EF adapter on this, which I could get for about $4 and sell it for about $40, $50. Bucks. So those, uh, those are the cheapest adapters you could get is for the Canon EF mount. Even they're uh, on Canon EF stuff. So yeah, I'll probably make after I do all the, oh, there's one more thing in there, oops. Uh, this is junk, I will throw it in. It's one of those uh, telephoto, teleconverter type deals that you put, it's the uh, filter threaded so it fits on the end of your lens. Um, I th usually throw these in a junk lot, they're not worth anything, but um, sometimes I'll just include them with a lens and just, they're fun to play around with if you don't know. So. Oh, let's see here. Next one. So I'm, I made good profit on that one. Probably 50 bucks or more um, profit after I sell that. It'll take time to to uh, you know, list them all and such. But all of, none of them were broken or anything. A lot of these lots, they'll say untested. They're not sure if they work. And hopefully they took great pictures so you could see. Um, 
This one I got, the second one I got for $30. And they actually went down to the post office and mailed it. If you're ever using eBay or selling stuff yourself, you need to use the eBay labels. You virtually save like 25-30% usually instead of going down to the post office and and uh, you know using the machine down there and go, or waiting through line. And you could just drop drop the package straight in into their uh, you know postal drop-off box instead of waiting through line. Okay, first one. Uh, what we got here? This one is anytime you see this. These two little things on the side, that is Olympus, and that's how you test their aperture. Let me move it up here. I'll tell you what it is here in a second. F22. So, yep, snappy aperture. Let me hold it up through the light, look through it. Looks clean. This one is, as you see here, see that? 70 to 150 F4. Nice lens. Somebody would be happy to have this, and it even comes with the original original case, which is it's not disintegrated inside. A lot of times these are disintegrated inside. So um, with the original case, I'm thinking $35, $40 for this, maybe more. It's a nice lens. And I don't remember I only spent $30 on this whole thing. There's three lenses in here. And that's shipped. Um, here we go, Canon. Canon EF, or Canon FD, I'm sorry, old film lens. Uh, you would use this on like the Canon AE-1. Nice lens, got the cap there. Worst mounting system ever is a <laughs> FD mount system. So there we go. Looks to be in solid condition. They usually sell for about $30, $35 plus shipping. So you can see there, I'm probably going to triple my money on this one. Um, last one is Olympus, another Olympus, 50mm f1.8 prime lens. <clears throat> get my, I have to get the, hold it up to the light, it's clear. Um, these are a little bit different, the, the f-stop ring is on the front of the lens. So, yep, and snappy as well. Nice lens, this one's about 40 bucks as well, so 40, 35, 30 so yeah uh, triple my money on this so that was a great pickup and nothing's wrong with any of those lenses now here's the last one and this one has a ton of lenses in it i think this one actually came from uh you know everything's been kind of closed down the thrift stores and such lately so i hadn't been able to go to thrift stores and find some of these lens lots but uh a lot of the thrift stores like goodwill and uh, salvation army actually sell sell some of their stuff on eBay so I think that's what this was I think this was from Salvation Army gosh it's a big box I spent how much on this right down at the top $62 shipped and there is a ton of lenses in here and I'm, when I buy these I'm not really concerned about what mount they are because everybody's looking for a lens for whatever system so let's see here now, I think most of these are all photos, but we'll see. The package did well. I've got excerpt. That's a good thing about buying stuff offline. You've you've got the packing material to reuse. So uh, this one came in the case. What we got here? Yeah. Um, oh, this one's nice. Now this these lenses usually have fungus inside most of the time, uh, probably because they put them back in the case when it's humid outside or whatnot. But you wouldn't think that they, this particular lens would have uh, fungus on the inside because it's, uh, the focus is contained inside the barrel and everything. And it seems very solid and everything, but more often than not, there's fungus in these. Let's see. Ha ha! <laughs> and there is. I don't know if you can see that. Just like I th thought. Yeah. You see it there on the front element. Can you see? See that? Yeah. So this one's, this one's going to go in a junk lot. It's all the way through. I'm not going to try to fix it. So, not good so far. <laughs> all right. Usually when I buy lots like these, I'm happy if 75% of the lenses are in good shape. And I'll give a pass if they're not. And the rest, I kind of calculate that in on how much I want to spend on them. Um, what do we got here? 
Oh, this is a, yeah, this is a AR mount. This Konica, before Konica Minolta. So, you can kind of notice it, it will have this little thing right here. And then kind of like the MD, can you see that? The MD um, mount will have the little notch on one of the flanges on the corner. The uh, AR mount has it in the middle there. Let me hold it up to the light and see if it's clear. Uh, well, trying to get it out of this E mode. It's our automatic mode. Oh, I didn't want to turn on there. Let me see. Uh, yeah, this one has fungus as well. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to. I have to look at that one more carefully to see if I want to fix it. Um, this is actually a pretty good lens, 70 to 210 f 3.5, but this one does have some fungus in it. The aperture is working, and the, fo the fungus isn't too horrible. If I could get in there and clean up a little bit of it, I'm not sure if I'd do that. That might just be a junk lot. So we're 0 for 2 so far <laughs> on, on lenses there. Uh, You think that one works? <laughs> what, what is that? They didn't picture that. Got the aperture up there on top, but they got the aperture ring down here. I don't know what this is. It's junk, obviously, but it's an MD mount. Crazy. All right. Well, there's another junk one. 0 for 3. Te teleconverter. Uh, A Pentax screw mount, M42. I could sell this for ten dollars. That's a numu, a numa, whatever. <laughs> All right. So I do have got a teleconverter that works out of the deal. <laughs> All right. Give me something good here. Another lens. This is FD mount. Says right there on the side, and but we'll see more when we open it. So, what you do is turn it like that, and the cap should come out. And this one actually, yeah, this one's clear. Hey, we, we found one that was clear. This is what is this? Beston. I hadn't really actually heard of this brand. Maybe I have, but it's not a very common lens. Uh, lens manufacturer. This is the 80 to 200, which was very common at 4.5. But uh, best done. If anybody knows anything about that brand, let me know. I'll just sell it as like normal, like it's a generic one, because it is a generic one. All right, what do we got next? Another FD mount. Good old Sears. 80 to 200 F4. This one has some haze in it. Oh, let me see if I get it's just on the outside on that back element. Yeah, it was just on the back element. There was some dust there. It looked like haze, but uh, it actually is good. It's one of those push pull zooms. This one's worth about twenty dollars, fifteen twenty dollars. Uh, I'll sell it separate, but I'll add an adapter and sell it for close to forty dollars. I'll have to spend ten dollars on the adapter. So. Um, let's keep going. So how many we got? We got two good ones and a teleconverter so far. Promaster. Looks like we got a lot of FD mounts in here. This FD mount as well. Um, Canon FD. Focus ring works. Zoom works. This one's a pretty good one. This one's 75 to 150 f3.8. Can you see that? Sorry if some of this is out of focus. All right, so yeah, we're doing good. Uh, so far, we're about halfway through, and there's enough in here to make my money back, so I'm okay with that. See, there's, there's four more after this. This is one of those crap things that you could just has a 
filter ring on here and you just add to the end of your lens. So I'll just add that in with the junk lot. So um, they're, they're fun to mess around with. I won't spend any money on them. But if you've never messed around with one, it's kind of neat too. Alright, what else we got here? Ooh, Takina A200F4. Another Canon FD mount. I need to order some more FD adapters. That one, uh, let me hold it up. That one, it has a, a very small spot of fungus. I think it will be all right. I'll inspect it some more. I'll just tell them there's a spot of fungus and kind of do some tests and see, uh, take some pictures and see if it affects image quality. And let them know that there is a spot of fungus in there. Always be honest about what you're selling. Another FD mount. This one's a Telesaur. I haven't heard of that brand either. There's a bunch of Tele whatever. <laughs> uh, so, uh, 80 to 210 f4.5. This one's nice. The zoom is contained inside the barrel and it is clean. Nice lens. This one's kind of compact. I kind of like the build on this. Seems very solid. Telosaur. Sounds like a dinosaur or something, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, two, two more. The last two. Same, same on that one. It'd about $25 if I sold it, or $20, $25, and probably just have to add an adapter or sell it that way. Sometimes I do both. This is a brand that I don't really like, and they kind of seem like they're somewhere in there. They were uh, they use the same body style uh, back with the autofocus um, Quanta Ray, but the build quality on most of their lenses isn't very good. But like in the in the 80s and 90s with their autofocus film lenses, I think they might be made by Sigma, but it seems like the quality is off. So they're made at a different uh, factory or something, but because but the barrel and everything looks looks like a Sigma, but the they're just not as good as the Sigmas for some reason. Anyway, um, that one's that, that this one's good. So same thing, 15, 20 bucks. So uh, so I'm doing good. I said 6250 is what I put spin on this, and it takes a lot of work to you know to list all this stuff and organize it out but in the end I'll more than double my money on here should make about $120 after all these are sold last lens and with the soft case Omstar? I hadn't heard of that one you heard that? Oh, sorry O-M-E star? Omstar? oh this is a uh, Look at that. Is this what I think it is? Has the things right there. Oh yeah. Look, it's got the line there. I think this is actually a It's not the pen, so I'm guessing is it? I'm not positive, but I have to I have to research it a little bit. This is it's got the line there, so this might be a, a Konica Konica automatic lens, but I'll have to do some more research on this and figure out. But it's not really worth much. Uh, 80 to 205 again, f 4.5. This lens is um, 25 bucks, maybe. I'll have to do some research on it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so all this stuff together, well, I got 30, 30, and 60, so I've got $120 in it. After I list it all and sell it all, it's going to take a lot of work. I'm um, guessing around 300, 350. Um, after I sell all this stuff, it's going to take a little bit to sell it. So, anyway, it's a lot of fun. I love going through these, and I thought I'd share it with you. Um, buy one of these lots off of eBay. They're fun to go through. So, thanks for watching. Go ahead, subscribe.